Well, this is one of the most famous pictures of the D-Day landings. It shows in the right foreground Piper Bill Millen, who was the personal piper of Brigadier the Lord Lovett, the brigade commander. You can see Lord Lovett just on the right of the men wading ashore. But really, Bill Millen is the hero of the moment. The Germans came to know him as Der Verrückte Dudelsack Pfeiffer, the Mad Piper. Now, I think that's a title that anybody could be proud of. Anyway, I was given a copy of an interview that Bill had given, I think quite some years ago, judging by the audio quality, but it's a very funny interview, and I thought, I wonder if I could contact him to ask if I can use the interview. So an internet search led me to a museum down in Dawlish, Devon, close to where Bill lives, and the museum now acts as a sort of mailing service. So I wrote to Bill, and a few days later he replied. He sent me his own personal card. This is Bill Millen's personal card, a living legend. So this is my tribute to Piper Bill Millen. Well, Piper Millen is describing here how Lord Lovett was approached on the beach by one of his senior officers and informed that the Paras had succeeded in taking the Orne bridges as planned. He came over and he said uh, to Lovett, good news sir, the, the Paras have captured the bridges at the Orne. Then Lovett looked round and uh, seen me standing down there. Give us a tune. Well, the whole idea was ridiculous because of shell fire and all kinds of things going on at the time. And it was mad enough, the three of us standing there, we shouldn't have been really standing. We should have been lying down, really. But the whole thing was ridiculous. He said, give us a tune, Piper. And I said, well, it may as well be ridiculous as well. I said, what tune would you like, sir? He said, well, play the, um, the Road to the Isles. I said, would you like me to march up and down? Yes, yes, march up and down. That'd be lovely. So the, the whole thing was ridiculous, even the, the, the bodies lying in the water were going back and forward, and there was the, the tide, now the water was wafting in, they were moving back and forth. And I started off and piping, and going about a few paces along there, and next thing I got a hand on my shoulder, and I said, boy, I looked around, it was a sergeant I recognised, he said, what are you playing at, you mad bastard? <laughs> <laughs> it's attracting all the German attention, all every German in France knows we're here now, you silly bastard. But anyway, I walked away and I looked around and there were, of course there's other people up at the wall there. They're going like this, they're cheating, yeah. But anyway, what, up and down a couple of times then, this time I came down, I turned around, they'd all gone. I didn't say that was fast, never even told me. But anyway, I seen uh, some disappearing away in the distance, so I caught after them and uh, they were going across country at this time. So that was action on the beach. He was in Amfreville on July 14th, 1944, when this ceremony took place to mark the unveiling of the Commando Monument in the village. It was quite an occasion, with all the civic leaders present and the full parade, Brigadier Derek Mills Roberts taking the salute. And here's Piper Bill Millen in the centre of four commandos, all presumably from HQ. And this time I am sure, no doubt about it, that the rear right as we see the picture is Dad. I'm absolutely convinced. Dad together with Piper Bill. It's only a 10 second clip, but it really makes all the work worthwhile just to find that. But towards the end of the project, we took a trip down to Dawlish to meet a true living legend, Piper Bill Millen. We looked through some of the footage together, and to my delight, we found that Bill remembers Dad and the occasion when they marched together towards the film camera over 60 years ago. Our family have known about this remarkable man since we were children, and just to sit and chat with him was such a privilege and a real joy.